Hey, welcome back to Bird Squawk. Today we're going to talk about feeding babies in three stages. Uh, we've got some newborns, we've got some that are just breaking their pin feathers, and then we have others that have almost all of their feathers. Hang around, we'll be right back. I'm going to show you how to do all three. Okay, we're ready to go here. I've got the food made. Uh, just a real quick reminder, uh, we need our food to be 105, okay? And so we're there. I've already checked it. We're 105. Uh, we've got our uh, tube here. And let's go ahead. I've got five babies in here. Uh, these aren't exactly newborns. They're a few days old. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to feed them real quick. So let's take a look at this one. And I always like to get a little of that out of there. And let's go here. All right. I'm going from the side. And you'll see... I want to back out, give him a little bit of a break, but he, see how he's gulping, you can even hear him. And then of course, you see that food coming down this side. You, of course, you see his crop filling up. I'm just barely giving him a little pressure and uh, he'll bob up and down. That's how we know that he's opening up his crop for food. And as you always hear me say, don't worry about this air bubble. It will work its way out. Okay, that's one. Let's do another one real quick. <laughs> They're all tangled up here. All right, let's grab another one. This guy's empty and ready to be fed. This was our time of letting them go empty. So uh, they're completely empty right now. As we've talked about before, you want to let this go empty once a day. Um, and then you want to try to keep them fed the rest of the time. All right, I'm backing off, giving him a break. Again, you see all the food going down through here. Now, one thing you want to monitor while you're doing this, I'm keeping, keeping a very close eye not to overfeed him, but not to give him too much at once, okay? This one's a little bit smaller, so this may take a little longer. I'm going to gently pry him open, okay? This is what's great about the extension on this, uh, this uh, uh, syringe, is that this tube is so much smaller it allows us to get in these little guys like this, okay? And you don't want to really, you know, open up too much. And these beaks are soft right now, so you want to be careful with them. And how I hold this bird, he's trying to twist on me. So I'm going to rotate him back around. I'm gently holding him here and gently with my fingers here. Not much, but just enough. And you hear him. He's wanting to feed. So we're going to let him feed a little bit. And this is stage one. Uh, there's three stages. There's the stage one when they're still from uh, uh, right out of the egg until they're ready to uh, have their pin feathers. At that point, you know, that, that would be considered stage two in their development. And so, I don't know if this guy's going to get all of it in. He's slowing down a little bit. There he goes. Now he's opening up. I see him bobbing. And so he's opening up. No air so far. That's great. Going right on in there. This is how you do it, guys. Just like that. All right. I'm going to give him just a little bit more. I think he can handle it. This is going to be their long feeding as well. Okay. We're going to do one more, and I think we're done here. I'm going to get a little more food up in here. And then we're going to move on to stage two. That, I have a bird in there at stage two. It's just getting a few fin, uh, pin feathers, and look at that. See the, see the food coming down through the crop? This is how we hand feed, baby. This is how we hand feed babies. This is it, all right? You want to hold them gently. Don't shove this thing way down inside of them. Gently put it, look at him, and he's bobbing up and down. He's ready. He's opened up, all right? My goodness, I think I fed all five of them. I didn't mean to feed all five of them in front of you. But uh, we did. All right. So that's that. I'll come back and maybe wipe their faces in a minute. But uh, let me get the other bird out, and uh, I'll be right back with you. All right. Let's look at stage two. I got a bird in the uh, the famous uh, cooler brooder, and uh, let's get him out and take a look and see what we got going on. Now, one thing that we want to do during that I do during the, the, these different feedings is I want to make sure the temperature stays up on this food, 105. 
So in between those feedings, I had to heat this back up a little bit to get it back up to 105. That's really important to keep us from developing. Now, see, you hear that? You hear him going? Notice I'm not holding this bird this time. All right, I'm just kind of, and this bird's got pin feathers. This is stage two. All right, and oh, look, this eight. I'm going at it here. He's just, all right, he's done. Now, he would take more, but that's done. But back to the food. I had to reheat this food to 105. I don't want this food to drop to 100 or, or, or in the 90s. Because if this food gets cold inside of him, okay, or goes in cold, then it has a chance of turning into a yeast infection, which then leads to what's called slow crop. And slow crop is a bad thing. And it's difficult to get rid of. It's guaranteed a trip to the vet. And even at that, sometimes it's not always corrected. All right, so that's stage two, pretty simple. Pretty easy to feed. Once they've gone through stage one, they know the process, they know what's going on, and, they, and it's pretty easy to do. It's kind of the same thing, only you're just feeding them just a little bit faster. All right, guys, stick tight. We're gonna look at stage three. Stage three, everybody. This is when it gets really cool because you really get to see the, the surprise reveal. What are we gonna get? What's it going to be? What are the colors going to be? And wow, we picked a great set of stage three to look at today. These are cinnamon, and they're pearled, and I have one of them. Look at this right here. This is really cool. This bird, if you look at this, has yellow cheeks. Can you see that? It has a yellow cheek. See its clutch mate? It has an orange cheek, a normal orange cheek. This one, a normal orange cheek. See the orange spot coming in there? Again orange and we go back to this little guy big and thick look how big and healthy he is okay you go back to this guy and it's all yellow this is called a dyc dominant yellow cheek and that's what that is that's a cinnamon pearl dominant yellow cheek pretty cool bird but this is an exciting stage because now you know what you've got you know what you're going to get okay you know what they're going to turn out to be you kind of have an idea based upon the parents to begin with, but, you know, you never know whether it's going to be pearled or it's going to be a DYC. You kind of think it's going to be cinnamon because of the way they're paired up. All right, so let's get to the food. Notice I've taken the little tip off. These guys are really hungry. Now, these guys eat really fast, okay? Some people, you know, they go really slow and give them just a little bit, a little bit, and I don't do it that way. You do it the way you're comfortable, and this is the way that I do it, okay? Hear that? Once I hear that, I start giving them the food. That food is going straight down their throat to into their crop, and it fills up. I don't take any chances. I know the crop is open. I don't take any chances of aspirating that bird because I know it's bobbing, it's chirping, it's ready to be fed, okay? They're just crying now. Okay, they still got their baby cries. But listen when the food gets ready. Now listen. Hear it? Now we go. All right, now did you see that? That bird started to back away from me. Okay, and that bobbing stopped. So what did I do? I stopped, okay? I know. I know that feeling, and I know that bird's starting to back away from me. So, so back away. Give him a break. That bird needs a break. And as these birds reach the end of stage three, they're going to start pulling away because they don't want those big full crops anymore. They're going to start eating just a little bit of food throughout the day. Let's see if we can get some more in him. Yeah, he took his full too. That's great. So you just have to be careful. You kind of have to have a little bit of experience, okay, of knowing that fill. Now, this guy's the youngest one. He should eat okay. Let's see. And so, watch what I, you guys notice what I did there. The parent would take its beak and go over their beak and go like this and bob up and down and regurgitate into the baby. So, sometimes when I stick this in and the baby doesn't, now he's moving, he doesn't start that, I kind of wiggle just a little bit and it promotes the natural eating 
and swallowing and they open up and that's the way it is. Guys, thanks for watching our videos. We love it. We love all the questions. Please subscribe, hit like, share our videos. We love it. Things are growing. I can't believe we're over 3,000 subscribers and growing a couple hundred a month. We appreciate all of you. Hey, we'll see you in the next video.